During the first phase of the Cuban Revolution, Che had been the most vocal advocate of an alliance with the Soviet Union. That changed towards the end of his life, when he developed a very critical position. His last public appearance was in Algiers on February 24, 1965. On that occasion, he criticized the Soviet Union yet again for its complicity in imperialist exploitation. Socialist countries, he said, should not charge third world countries market prices, thus forcing them into debt. They should also stop selling arms. Weapons should be given away freely to oppressed peoples to allow them to liberate themselves. The Soviet Union was infuriated by the speech, which it saw as a slap in the face. Most communist parties in Latin America were pro-Soviet. They could not support Che's struggle. And Castro, who was politically and economically dependent on the Soviet Union, had no choice but to bow to his paymasters. Che's plans and ideas were sacrificed to political pragmatism.